Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, I'll walk you through how to add a watermark to your video in CapCut. Watermarks are a great way to brand your content or protect it, so let's go through the steps together. To start, open the CapCut app on your phone and click on New Project. Choose the video you'd like to add a watermark to and then click Add to bring it into the editor. Now, to create a basic text watermark, go down to the options at the bottom of the screen and select Text. Click on Add Text and type your watermark text here. This could be your name, your channel name, or any other text you'd like. Once you've typed out your text, it's time to style it. Under the Style tab, you can change the font, size, and color. To make the watermark less noticeable but still visible, adjust the opacity by scrolling down to the Opacity option and setting it to around 50%. This will make the watermark semi-transparent. After you've set the opacity, click the check mark to save your changes. Then, resize the text and position it where you want it on the video by clicking and dragging. You'll also want to adjust the duration of the watermark to match your video length. To do this, extend or shorten the text layer on the timeline so it matches the video clip's length. If you'd prefer to use an image or logo instead of text, you'll need to create an image file with a transparent background. If you haven't done this already, you can use any online editor to create a PNG file of your logo or watermark text. Once you have it saved, return to CapCut and select Overlay from the options at the bottom of the screen, then click Add Overlay. Choose your logo or watermark image and add it to your project. Position the watermark image where you want it on the video, then resize and adjust it. If the image has a background color, you can remove it using the chroma key tool. Select your overlay image, scroll through the options at the bottom to find Cutout and click on it. Select chroma key and use the color picker to select the background color of your watermark. Adjust the intensity slider until the background is fully removed and only your logo or watermark remains. Once that's done, click the check mark to apply the changes. Now, play through your video to make sure the watermark appears as expected. Once everything looks good, export your video by clicking on the export button at the top right of the screen. If this tutorial helped you out, feel free to buy me a coffee using the link in the description. It supports the channel so I can keep making more videos like this. Thanks for watching.